MP, meaning flying swallow, uses strong hip rotation to create body movement and slow techniques to maximize body control. MP. The first move is representative of the whole kata. Make sure you don't step as you begin the block. Use your hips to drive your stance and your block at the same time. From your position, make sure your hips initiate the move as you begin the block. Then from here, use your hips to return back to Shizentai. Next, vibrate your hips as you drive in Gidambarai. And then finally, one more time, vibrate your hips as you make Kagazuki. With the next technique, it's imperative that you use both hands to prepare for Gidambrai. If you do this, you maintain shoulder dash as you drive forward before making Hamni for Gidambrai, followed by Agazuki shoulder dash. As you start the next technique, open your hand, bring your knee up and then drive forward into Kostach, the same time blocking the Gashuke with your right hand and punching with your left hand. With this technique, it's very important that you don't move up and down as you go from Zenkostach to Kostach. Try to drive directly into stance and make sure both feet land at the same time. From Kostach, make sure you drive off the right leg, pivoting on the right heel and landing in a long Zegstad showman, blocking and looking behind. From here, snap your hips and allow your stance to come slightly back into normal Hamidach Zenkutsu before continuing Agizuki. With this first slow movement of the kata, feel like there's almost a connection between your left hand and left knee as you bring them back to the halfway point. From here, allow them to separate as you slowly move into kibirach, looking 45 degrees. With the next movement, keep your left hand still and bring the wrist of your right hand to the fingertips of your left hand and your right foot behind your left knee. As you make contact, kiai and look forward before bringing your left hand under, slowly moving into kibrach as you make tateshito uke. With the next move, it's very important to focus on the right hand as you prepare for Gidambrai. This will make your hips go square, so you can snap them back as you make Gidambrai, Hamidach. From here, after the Agazuki, keep your hips square as long as possible as you step forward, Shtoke. The next move is very important. Use your inner thigh muscles, push off the front leg, and make sure your feet come together as you prepare for Shtoke. And then drive forward into Hamidach before using your hips to punch Gakazuki. Finally, step forward one more time, Shitoke. It is worth emphasizing the point about the second Shitoke. Many people when they do this kata, 
just bring the leg back with the legs open and the bum sticking out and then fall forward, knife hand block. It's very important to have greater body control. Keep your back straight, your tailbone tucked in, drive off your front leg and squeeze your inner thigh muscles to bring your feet together before driving forward Shituke. And finally use your hips as you punch Gakazuki. With this second set of slow movements, make sure you prepare by bringing your right hand up to shoulder height and then synchronizing your hand and hip movement together as you block 45 degrees. Next, squeeze your inner thigh muscles as you move your left leg and prepare your hands before expanding into front stance double block. Again, continue this. Squeeze your inner thigh muscles, then expand into stance. One more time, squeeze and then expand. With the final sequence, make sure you use your centre line as you drive forward with both feet landing in Kakutstach Girambarai. From here, maintain your straight line stance as you shift your weight forward into Furudach. Next, quickly prepare your hands so both feet and hands can finish at the same time after the jump. 